One day after Dr. Mahathir launched Pakatan Harapan's new vision for the country, the Shared Prosperity Vision 2030, the Prime Minister spoke at an all-Malay gathering where the organiser said Malaysia, or Tana Melayu, belongs to Malays, just like China is for the Chinese and India for Indians. Zainal Kling, the main organiser of the Malay Dignity Congress, also reportedly implied that non-Malays could lose their citizenship if they broke the social contract. What the fuck, man? It's 2019 and people are still saying such racist things against ethnic minorities. The Congress also reportedly demanded that top government positions be reserved for Malay Muslims and they also wanted vernacular schools to be gradually abolished. And we see Dr. Mahathir holding hands up high with past President Hadi Awang, Amno Sekjen Anwar Musa, and PKR Deputy President Azmin Ali. Is this what Malaysia Baru looks like? Some may think that it's okay for Dr. Mahathir to have spoken at the supremacist gathering because he was scolding Malays for supposedly not working hard and he didn't insult the non-Malays. Well, of course he didn't, but that's not the point. The point is that simply by attending the Congress, the Prime Minister legitimized the racist rally that sees non-Malays and non-Muslims as second-class citizens. Dr. Mahathir and the other Pakatan leaders could have just said no thanks and focused on their shared prosperity vision for all Malaysians. How can the citizenship of non-Malays and non-Muslims who were born and bred here in Malaysia be questioned today? And why should only Malay Muslims hold top government positions? This is pure discrimination against ethnic minorities who should be protected first and foremost. And if anyone is going to get affirmative action, it should be minorities. Why can't a non-Muslim be prime minister Deputy Prime Minister, Menteri Basar, uh, Attorney General, Chief Justice, Inspector General of Police, or just about anyone, really, if they're good at the job. It's disappointing that instead of affirming the fact that we're all equal as Malaysian citizens, some political leaders chose to play politics by attending this racist rally. And it's obvious that this so-called show of unity between Bersatu, PAS, and a certain PKR faction is meant to exclude the man that Pakatan Harapan once endorsed as Prime Minister, since Anwar Ibrahim wasn't invited. I'm Boosalin. You're watching Boos Morning Brew. Rise up, Malaysia.